October of 2015. What's unique about this brewery is they brand themselves as a heavy metal. When you come in, they have a bunch of arcade games. They play uh, some really classic rock, heavy metal, everything in the rock genre. It's got like a punk rock tour kind of vibe. And the beers themselves are one of the strongest. They make a lot of IPAs and stouts here. So it's a All right, y'all. So for my first beer here, uh, I decided to get a pale ale. This one's called the Willy. Very hoppy. You can smell the hops. It's very sooty right here. Alright, y'all. So, my second beer here. I decided to get a West Coast style IPA. Y'all know that's one of my favorites. This is Cali Green. Very citrusy. This is like a mimosa, in my opinion. This is very. Not so much on the hop side, but very refreshing. All right, y'all. So third beer here. This is their most popular and well-known beer. Ironically, it's another IPA. This one is called Pussy Wagon. So between the three IPAs I have, this is what I would call in the middle because it's it does have some hops, but there's also a little bit of a citrus taste. And this is very strong compared to your traditional IPA. Alright y'all. So this time I decided to get uh, a stout since these are what they're more well known for. This one is called, let's see here. This one's called the Black Masses, which is a um, DBL chocolate milk stout. So let's give this one a sip. Mm. That's sweet for a stout. That's pretty good. I like the taste of it. Very milky. Alright y'all, so next beer, or next stout per se. This one is called a Domstress, which is a... What does it have? An Imperial Stout with cherries. Mmm. Mmm. You can definitely taste the cherries in this. Very sweet. Final thoughts on Brash Brewery, really enjoy the beers here, the stouts especially, some of the best I've ever had, very good IPAs, um, and that's pretty much it, I mean, there's your lager and your pilsner here, but as far as variety, like I mentioned before, they're more known for their IPAs and stouts here, um, I really dig the uh, atmosphere here, it's very laid back, very low, very low key, um, I'm a big like rock metal fan so listening to this kind of music uh, kind of feels like I'm in a concert per se and also it's cool that these all arcade games here the only downside is I mean they only have snacks here it's BYOB uh, bring your own food in this case but overall I like this place I give it out of instead of um, I say four yeah, four pints out of five pints instead of stars. But yeah, thanks for watching. Four. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow What's the Buzz.